All right, well, it is an absolutely beautiful day out here today. It is, what, October 12th, I think? And uh, the weather has finally turned. It's more, much more uh, fall-like today than it has been. I know I keep saying my videos, but this summer here, Pennsylvania was just, it was pretty brutal, very wet, humid. Even this past week was just more humidity and thunderstorms and stuff, but a cold front came through last night and now it's in the 50s this morning. It's actually kind of chilly. I got my, got my hoodie on. This, I got this at the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon this past summer. Been waiting for summer months to actually be able to wear it now, and so the time has come. So it is beautiful. The, the leaves are starting to just turn a little bit, you can see on the trees. So, yeah. The truck got a new set of tires. So, yesterday I think that was. So, she's been needing them. If you remember, I had that flat tire a couple months ago. So, the tires are in bad shape, but part of that's from driving around so much making these videos. So, yeah, absolutely beautiful day. Yeah, I guess I should say what we're actually doing out here today. Um, I am parked on the Stony Valley Rail Trail. I'm actually in Dolphin County, uh, here in uh, what they call Stony Valley or St. Anthony's Wilderness. And I've been here numbers of times, but I'm usually at the other end of it, the, uh, the east end, over towards Gold Mine, Roush Gap area, over in Lebanon County. But today we're on the uh, western end here in Dolphin County. This is the trailhead for the Dolphin County side. And uh, there's a website I follow, or a page that I follow on Facebook for Stony Valley. It's run by, what's her name, Brandy, Brandy, Brandy Martin Watts, I think that's her name. And she's, she's a local historian in this area. She runs that website. And just recently she posted another, an article about something I didn't know that was back here. There's an old, there's a, the remains of an old wooden caboose back here in the woods, back near what's called the Water Tank Trail. And uh, I'm pretty sure I know what it, what they look like. I, I what was that last fall or last spring? I found some old wooden railroad cars in the woods. I'll show you pictures of those later in this video, but I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna look for today. What it used to look like, it doesn't look like that today anymore. It's pretty much just in ruins, what's left of it. She, she did post a picture of it. So there's probably not a whole lot to see there, but I wanna go find it anyway. Um, it's a beautiful day and I love hiking this whole area. So I'm gonna go back and see what we can find, see what's left of it. So that's, that is the goal today. All right, so we're gonna head on out and get this hike going. This is the only thing I'm gonna do today. I have some other places planned for today. I try to make a full day of these trips. We're gonna do some fossil hunting today. I'm gonna to explore a new park I've never been to, and then uh, I think I'll do one of my, another one of my haunted videos about werewolves. <laughs> so that should be fun. And I would like to thank, you know, the people who support me on Patreon because it makes trips like this possible because it does it does cost gas when I do all this traveling. But so thanks. You know, if you're interested in that, you can support me as well. I'll have links at different places at the bottom of this video down in the description. So thank you to those who do. Beautiful day. So like I said earlier several times, and as you can see, it is, it is a beautiful day to be out here. Um, I'm, like I said, currently I'm making my way to what's called the Water Tank Trail. And uh, that's where the direction said to start. And I forget, I forget how far down that is. It might be a mile or so down the way here, but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. Stony Creek is just down there, a little ways. We'll see that later in this video. That's where I caught my first I caught my first brown trout down here several summers ago. Yeah, down there you get a good view of the creek. You can probably hear it on the video too. Check out this tree. 
I'm pretty sure that's what they call a, that's called chaga. It's like a parasitic fungus that grows on birch trees. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'll show you, uh, I'll show you a picture of what that looks like. On the inside, it's kind of like this golden brown color. I'm pretty sure it's, that's what that is. I would take some if I could, but it's too high up in the tree for me to get to. So, yeah, it has a, has a number of medicinal properties. You can make coffee out of it and all kinds of stuff out of it. So, but anyway, like I said, I'll show you a picture of what it does look like on the inside. Someone brought a piece to me once at school, so. Anyway, it's pretty cool stuff. That's a neat little spot there. I have a feeling that we're getting close to the water tank trail. Or maybe I'm totally wrong about that, but I think that little stream does flow down near where the water tank with near where the water tank trail is, if I can say it correctly. So maybe that's just wishful thinking. Maybe I, maybe I have another two miles to go, but it shouldn't be that much further. There's a trail that goes up this way, but I don't think it's the one I want. I'm, if I remember correctly, the water tank trail is a, it's a blue blaze trail. I'm not saying blaze is on this trail, so I don't really know. I'm not really sure what this trail is. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to find a new trail in the area. I kind of, always kind of wonder where it goes. Those signs are just for a prescribed burn area. I guess they're going to do a burn through here sometime, a controlled burn. Anyway, I'm going to keep on going down the trail here. Looking for a blue blaze trail. Yeah, so almost right away here is a sign for the water tank trail. It does take you down to the creek. That's where we want to go. I guess I never realized I know the water the water tank trail takes you up over the mountain, up over Stony Mountain. I guess I never realized it went down towards the creek too. I don't come I'm not I don't hike too often on this end of the Stony Valley, so I felt I've only actually been hiking on this section once before several years ago. Even I, even before I started making videos, I think. I've been like in 2014 probably. So I've been here for quite a few years. So anyway. Well, we're not I don't really care where the trail goes up with the mountain that way. That might have been that trail we just saw back there. Because we're not going over the mountain, we're going down to the creek. Because the directions I had for this old uh you know, worn down, beat up caboose was to come to the water tank trail and head down to Stony Creek. So that's what we're going to do now. I'll see you down there. And here we are at Stony Creek. It's a beautiful wilderness creek out here. It's truly a wilderness creek. There's nobody that lives up there for, you know, quite a few miles. That does make for some really scenic pictures and video there, looking up the stream there. And you might be wondering why it's called the Water Tank Trail. Because if you, if you take the trail up to the top of Stony Mountain, there is an old uh, water tank up there. I think, I think I've been up there twice. It's not too far from where the uh, Stony Valley Fire Tower is up that way. But there's a water tank up on top of the mountain. That's just not down here. 
So that's why it's called the water tank trail. So the directions ahead said, come down the water tank trail and then turn back and start heading back towards where you park, back towards Dolphin, following the creek. And that you'll come to some what they called evergreen trees, probably some, maybe some hemlock trees. And they said that's where the uh, remains of this wooden railroad car would be. So what's what we're going to do, we're going to file the edge of the creek here and see if we can find some of those evergreen trees and then uh, remains of this wooden caboose or whatever's left of it. So let's get going. Whether we find anything or not, this is an awesome exploration, just walking along. It's beautiful out here. This would be an amazing place to camp and fish. But I mean, you can fish here, but you can't camp because it's state game lands, which is unfortunate. This would be an awesome place to set a tent up right along the stream here. Huh, but yeah, well, it's such as life. I'm keeping my eyes open. They said there's a lot of these hemlock trees, evergreen trees, so I'm not sure how visible the ruins of this wooden caboose are, but we're gonna keep our eyes open. Well, I haven't found what I'm looking for yet. So now I'm trying to determine <laughs> what I should do. Because it didn't say how far you should walk along the creek here. GPS coordinates would have been, been nice, but those weren't available. So I'm in another section of evergreen trees, so I'm not sure. So there were hem hemlocks, there were some rhododendrons, and now there's some American holly trees. So all, all of which are evergreen trees so I'm not sure which you know what type of evergreen tree they mean because these are the first time I've seen these American hollies in this at this on this uh, particular adventure so I don't know if that's what they mean by the evergreen trees or not so but I'm not gonna go back I'm just gonna keep walking along the stream here I think for a while this is a beautiful hike this is one of those explorations where it doesn't really matter if you don't find what you're looking for, because it's just a beautiful day, beautiful hike, all the beautiful water in the background. It doesn't really matter if you find what you're looking for or not. It was just draping out outside. So, but I'm gonna keep looking. So we'll see. All right, I gave up on that search. I'm making my way back to the truck right now. Um, without GPS coordinates, I, I don't know. I don't really know how far down along the stream I was supposed to go. And what I was looking for was pretty much just a pile of rotten wood and rusted metal. Um, there wasn't a whole lot left to it, so um, it's hard to, yeah, and some areas are still pretty thick down there with vegetation. So it's like, I don't know, kind of need a little bit more accurate directions, but and maybe, who knows, maybe I walked right past it and there was just not much left at all. But it was, an old wooden railroad car and they had used it for uh, a hunting cabin. I'll show you a picture of what it probably looked like. I did find something similar to that last year. I mentioned it, I think. I'll show you a picture of what it probably looked like. So anyway, you know, if you know, if you're watching this video and you know where the remains are and you want to give me more uh, precise directions, I'd appreciate it. I probably, if I had better directions, I would come out here and look for it again. Not that the directions were horrible, but they weren't real specific once you got down to the creek. You know, I needed a little bit more, uh, there was a lot of area to cover down there, so. But I, ha I have no regrets. It was a beautiful hike. Just walk on a trail here and then down by the creek. Beautiful weather, so. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Um, I am on Facebook. Just look up The Wandering Woodsman. You can check me out there. I do try to post stuff up there. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you can support me on Patreon as well. Just go to w.patreon.com, look for the wandering, the wandering Woodsman, and you'll find me on there as well. So, 
But thanks for those who watch my channel and support me, and it is appreciated. So I'll see you in the next video. I'm headed to uh, Detweiler Park, I think. At least that's the plan. I'll see you there.